everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lancy Poo Boot Camp. I know it's been a little while since you got this, so I figured, you know, let's go on and get another one out there, shall we? Well, today, I, we're going to wrap up geothermal. I'm going to show you the last couple things that we're actually going to do that's related to geothermal. So, let's jump right in, guys. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a geothermal generator, and then I'm going to teach you how to make an induction furnace, and then we're going to show you how to keep that induction furnace at 100% heat. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know how to keep one at 100% heat. So, let's get to work, shall we? As always, guys, there's a couple of base materials that you're going to need. Here are those base materials. Okay, let's go on and take pretty much, let's just take everything out of the chest, all right? Anything extra, we'll put back in it. So the first thing we've got to do if we're going to make a geothermal generator, guys, is we got to get our furnace made. So all we're going to need to do, put this shape here, make an iron furnace. Pretty simple. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to make a couple of more pieces. That's going to require us to actually make some wire. So go on and make one thing of wire. That's going to actually give you six copper cables, not wire. Copper cables, my apologies. Take those copper cables and hold on to them for a second. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to make this pattern right here. And that's going to give you a single battery. You're only going to need one, so just build one battery with this here pattern. After you have your battery, go on and throw that in the top slot, the iron furnace in the bottom. Take three refined iron and put them across the middle. That's going to give you a generator. Not too shabby, pretty straightforward and simple, so far. Lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to take 410. That 410 is going to give us 16 empty cells. Take those cells, put them directly in the center like this. Take the four glass that you have and put them in this pattern. Take two refined iron bottom corners and the generator like so. That's going to give you a geothermal generator. <laughs> Boom! There you go. Now we have a way of producing... EUs instead of MJs. Go on and make that geothermal generator. Now take a minute guys, I want you to go over here and I want you to just go on and put your geothermal generator on top of whatever system you're using to get your lava, like so. What you'll see is now that your geothermal generator is taking in lava. That's gonna mean that it's charging up. All right guys, now the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your pulverizer. I want you to go throw in 16 coal. Just go and throw your coal in there. Another thing to make sure is that your pulverizer is accepting energy. And uh, let that go on and pulverize. And let's go back over here. There's going to be another item that we have to build. And that's a compressor. Compressors are not complicated. All we're going to need to do to make a compressor is make it a machine block. Have 16 stone. And to make a control circuit. Control circuits are super, super easy. All I want you to do, I want you to do the same pattern we did earlier, and I want you to make six more copper cables. Now what you're going to do is put those copper cables in a pattern like so. The next thing we're going to do, take two force ingots, put them in like this, with one redstone in the middle. That's going to give you two control circuits. That's all we're going to need for the duration of this tutorial. Take the two control circuits out, put one in the very center bottom, put the machine block we just made over it, and put the stone on the sides. This is going to give us a compressor. Take that compressor and put it somewhere connected to your geothermal generator. I do not recommend putting it in front of your geothermal generator. It looks trashy and we don't do well with trashy. So I'm going to take mine. I'm going to put it above it. All right. As we can see, as soon as this fulls, goes full with red, that means that it is completed. What I want you to do now, guys, I want you to go get the coal dust from earlier. Remember, we pulverized coal. That gave us coal dust. Grab that coal dust up. Take it to your crafting table. Take the coal dust, put it in this form. That's going to give you four pieces of raw carbon fiber. Once you have those, put them back in your crafting table. That's going to give you two pieces of raw carbon mesh. What we're going to do now is take those two carbon mesh, and I want you to go put them in your compressor. Now, this will take a little while as your compressor is not, it does not have overclockers. Therefore, your compressor is going to go quite slow. Okay, guys, now this should be what we have remaining. All we're going to do now, what I want you to do is take your refined iron, put it like this, take that force ingots like this and the tin at the bottom. This is going to give you mixed metal ingots. Pretty simple. You'll get four of them, so you'll have extra. After you have the two carbon plates from your compressor, go on and put your four pieces of mixed metal ingots inside of your compressor. We'll let that go on and do its thing. 
Now while we wait, go on and build one more machine frame because you will need this. So now we're gonna start working on our induction furnace. Make another iron furnace, put the remaining electric circuit, electronic circuit above it, put two redstone beside it. That's gonna give you an electrical furnace. That's all you need. Lastly, go get your mixed metal ingots. You should have two pieces of advanced alloy at this point. The other two that are gonna be made, you don't need them, but they will come in handy later on in the game. So they're not wasted by just being compressed. Let them go on and compress. So now you have everything that you need. Take your two advanced alloy, put them in this shape. Take your two carbon plates, put them like this, and place your remaining machine block in the center. This will give you an advanced machine block. Last, put your machine block there, put your electric furnace there, surround with the remaining seven and iron, that will give you an induction furnace. Take your induction furnace, place it anywhere next to that same geothermal generator. Doesn't matter where, just place it somewhere by it. Now all you're gonna need to do guys, I want you to go on, grab your lever, uh, or a redstone torch your choice and just place it on your induction furnace where you place your uh, lever It just has to be pretty much like anything else that accepts redstone signal just somewhere by it All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place mine on the induction furnace. Okay There we go now all you have to do to get that hundred percent induction furnace all the time is simply flip the lever As you can see it's gonna start heating up it'll be slow at first, but it will get faster so we got one percent It'll take it a little while to heat up, but just go on and do other things while you wait, and I promise you it will be worth it. There you go. Now, what does 100% mean? Well, we all know we've been using the regular furnaces if you've been following these tutorials. This is what you have now. Take that cobblestone, throw it in there. Look at how fast it goes. Mind-blowing, right? Not only can you do that, but you can actually split it up so that it can do it twice at the same speed. Not too shabby, huh, guys? Uh, one more time, let me just show you. Same thing happens when we use gold or iron. It smelts at the same speed, guys. Hopefully, this was helpful for you and you're liking the whole tutorial setup. So, on the next episode, we'll get into some more, more advanced kind of things. With that, guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the channel. All you new guys, welcome. All you old guys, start cleaning up the mess that we just made. Till next time, guys, have a great night. We love you. Peace out.